All right, I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna go through some pretty sweet numbers here in a second. So, you know, one of the things that a lot of people have difficulty with, and I know I've had difficulty with, is pricing. I, I often say that if you don't think you have a pricing problem, then you definitely have a pricing problem. Um, because I even think, even where I'm at today, you know, in business and everything that we've done, pricing is still a big question and a big issue because what happens is a lot of times you don't know how much value you're providing. You don't understand it because you just think about what you have to do. You think about the bank records you have to do. You think about the tax rate. You're like, oh, it's going to take me five minutes. It's going to take me 15 minutes. The problem is you're not seeing how much value that's providing to that business owner. And so you kind of, you just look at yourself and what you have to do and how long it's going to take you and how much profit you're going to make, as opposed to thinking about in the business owner's mind, what they're going to get. And so I'll show you a great example where one of my clients was thinking that she would charge probably $2,000 a month and how we went ahead and totally changed it. So this is an example of a company where um, they were paying a previous accountant, a previous bookkeeper, full-time salary, I think it was $65,000 a year, okay? So they're paying $65,000 a year, and the question is, okay, paying them $65,000 a year, that bookkeeper's gonna go away, now I wanna work with you as an accountant, what am I gonna get? And so we mapped out an actual sort of plan for the pricing on that, it was a $3 million company, um, they were doing construction. So it was a $3 million company doing construction, had a bookkeeper making 65000 a year. And so now the question is, okay, what do I price that client at? And we went through and looked at, okay, we're going to do monthly accounting. We're going to do accounts payable. We're going to do tax planning. We're going to do the business and the individual return. We're also going to do the quarterly estimated payments. And so I'm going to show you this example. Now, this is not um, 100% perfect because I put this together without going back and forth with my client because I wanted to get it to her quickly. Um, but this is an example of how to think about it. So hopefully this will be instructive and this will be helpful. So you can see this here, right? Now you can see in this example, very first thing here, if the client's doing 3, 000, or 3 million a year in sales, if we're doing the monthly accounting, we're gonna do $500 a month for every 500,000 in annual sales. So that's about $3,000 a month. That's 36,000 a year. Now we're also doing accounts payable. Now typically I like to do with accounts payable the same amount. So another, like let's say, uh, $500 a month for every 500,000 in sales because that's another tier of monthly service that's sub account management. But in this particular case, the, the accounts payable is relatively light per my discussion with this client. And so we're gonna actually do it for just a thousand a month. Um, I think there's 40 bills or something like that. Most of it can be automated. So we'll do it for an extra thousand a month, okay? The tax planning, now, I did not get a chance to do, or, or my client did not get a chance to do the tax assessment. I think they'll be able to save probably twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on this individual's um, account, but I put ten just to be conservative as we were kind of going through and having the discussion. But that would, all, if you did update that amount, you know, this 10000 in savings charging 3500 let's say you updated it to thirty, then you might change this to 9800 which would flow into the numbers below. And so I'll kind of show you that here in a second. Also, the business return, 2000 the individual return, 4000 and then they get the quarterly estimated uh, payments and any, you know, quarterly estimated payments and any basic tax planning sort of updates uh, for free, right? So when you look at this, in this example, you know, this is a construction company doing $3 million a year in sales. You add up all these numbers, okay? Now, the client doesn't see this. I'm going to show you what the client sees here in a second. The client doesn't see this. The client just sees the, uh, I'll show you what the client sees in a minute, but the price of all of these is going to be $53,500, right? So $53,500, you're thinking, oh my gosh, Andrew, I charge $300 a month. No business owner, uh-uh, not up in here is going to pay me $53,000 a year. But watch this, right? He's already paying the bookkeeper $65,000 a year. And guess what the bookkeeper ain't doing? Bookkeeper ain't doing tax planning. Bookkeeper ain't doing the business return. Bookkeeper ain't doing the individual return. Bookkeeper ain't doing the quarterly estimated payments. Not doing any of that, right? And here's the biggest thing too. Bookkeeper did not save us any money on taxes. Because what I estimate is gonna happen is we're gonna end up saving this guy $30,000, right? So we'll charge the 53,500. So we'll charge the 53,500 less the 30,000 in tax savings. That's get a, that gets us to a net 23,500 that we're charging this business owner. But he got rid of a $65,000 full-time employee. That's a pretty good deal, right? Because net 23, got rid of a 65,000, that's $40,000. When you look at his full his net P&L impact, it's $43,000. Now, we're not going to uh, present it to him like this because if they start to see all the breakouts in pricing, they're gonna think, oh, you know, all these things. So what we basically show the client is something like this. So you can see here, we show the client monthly accounting, accounts payable, tax planning, business and individual return, quarterly estimated payments. We go through this whole thing. This the client's gonna see some version of this. We granted we put this together in a big presentation and client sees it. And we get a thousand a week. So we might even do, you know, if we were to take this, we would probably do something like nine ninety five or forty two fifty. So nine ninety five a week, forty two fifty a month on an annual agreement with an automatic renewal. Okay, annual agreement. And the reason we do that annual agreement is because 
you know, like these prices right here, if we just sign up for one month, oh my gosh, like it's gonna take a lot of work to get set up. In fact, I mean, in the first month, 4,400, I mean, when you start to value your time, you're not gonna make really any money in that first month. I mean, not to mention if you happen to have a salesperson or if you paid any money in marketing to get this client, plus you have to actually do the work. And you know, this is an example where this individual doesn't need a cleanup, but if we did the cleanup, we would add that in here too. And that's kind of a whole separate conversation when you have cleanup pricing. But I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of people, they come in, like she was thinking about charging half as much, like $2,000 a month, right? But when you really put together all the value of what you're providing and you compare it to what they're already doing, and you start to think about the tax savings piece, I mean, this is an awesome deal for the client, right? Their net P&L impact is gonna be 40 grand and on, a ca on cash, right? Because they're gonna pay the 53, we go back here, right? They're gonna pay the 53, but they're gonna get, let's say, I'm hoping 30, but let's say even if it was only 10, right? Then that would really be 43. So if it's 43 and they used to pay the person 65 plus time off, plus benefits and all these things, that's at least a 20,000. So it's a $20,000 probably to a $50,000 P&L impact, somewhere in that range. So they're gonna make more money than they did last year when they take this deal. And see, that's the intersect that you need to be looking for. How do you charge your client five, 10, 15, 20 times more than you ever have before? Because let's do the math on this, right? If we take 53,500, I'm excited to do the math on this. If we take, if we take um, 53,500 divided by, let's say you guys out there, I know you're out there right now, you're like, Andrew, my client's paying 300 bucks a month. 300 bucks a month is 3,600 bucks a year. That's a 14.8X increase in price. 14.8X increase in price. How could you do that? Andrew, how could I increase my prices by 14 times? I know, somebody, I know you're watching this right now. You're charging 300 bucks a month. Somebody's doing 3 million a year in sales. I know you are. I know you are, and it's okay. It's okay, I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not gonna judge you, I've been there. I'm just gonna extend you here. Here we go, we're gonna hold hands. Let's hold hands, hold hands right there. Come on, we got, okay, we're holding, okay, okay, hold my hand. Okay, we're gonna, here we go, pinky swear, pinky swear. Never gonna do that again, look at that, pinky swear, right? And that is not a good looking pinky right there. <laughs> when, you know, when pinkies are that close, they don't look the right way. 14.8X increase in price, how do you do that? How do you do that? I'm telling you right now, you can't do it unless the client's making more money. Because if the client's not making more money than what they were before, and they're just paying you an extra 50 grand a year, well, that doesn't sound like any fun. But imagine you could charge somebody the 50,000 a year. You charge them an extra 50,000 a year, but they make 40. That's literally what's going on in this example. They're making 20, they're making 40, they're making 50, depending on what actually ends up with this other bookkeeper and what ends up with the tax savings, right? That is the intersection of how you provide value to the client, but you also get your prices up 10 to 15 times. And we do that every single freaking day. And I mean, honestly, um, you know, you can't, you cannot increase your prices from 300 bucks a month to 3000 a month or 5,000 a month if you're not providing more value. And if you're not getting the client a bigger result, you have to know how to do that. So you have to actually know how to do that. You have to believe that you're doing that yourself. And then you have to be able to translate and communicate that to the client for them to believe it and for them to understand it. Okay. That's actually pretty hard. And that is like the number one thing that we do. So I went ahead and uh, below this video, I put together an application for you to set up a time with me and my team. We do an amazing presentation. We go through 300 slides and shows you like, what are the biggest things we've learned? We've worked with over Really, we have 8,000 customers. We've worked with over 3,000 people on sort of a really committed basis, meaning our higher end customers. And so we've seen, we've seen a lot. And we're going to share with you the key learnings that we have on pricing, packaging, sales, all of the stuff we do for retention and keeping clients, getting them to pay more year after year, how to manage the staff and the workflow and all of that. So we do an amazing job. We have a 12-month coaching program um, where you work one-on-one -on -one with us over the course of the year to grow the business in the right way, not just grow the business, right? Getting, I see some of these other guys out there that are like, you need to get clients and nobody should pay more than 300 bucks a month. I'm like, dude, you, you ain't, are you even paying attention? Like, this is no fun, right? So we're not talking about going after these $300 a month crummy deals. Deals, right so if you want to change the game not just grow the business grow it in the right way set up a time below fill out the application and I will see you on the other side